Do you cut your dovetails by hand? And if you don't, what's holding you back from trying? Well, maybe you just prefer to cut dovetails with a dovetail jig and a router, like one of these setups here. And there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. I've used these sorts of jigs for years. But the setups can be expensive, the process is noisy, and you may be limited in terms of your joint options or your ability to customize the pin and tail spacing. Truthfully, I've always wanted to learn how to cut dovetails with hand tools, and I'll bet it's one of your goals too. At one point or another, most of us want to raise our level of craftsmanship to that next level. But what stands in the way of doing it? Well, for me, it was this, hand sawing the pins and tails. In order to saw tails and pins well, you have to be able to do three important things. Start the cut accurately on your layout lines, then cut straight and evenly down to the base lines, and finally, you have to cut accurately over and over again, especially on the pin boards, because the pins have to fit the tails. Now, hand sawing dovetails isn't rocket science, of course, but it does take a fair amount of practice. And there's the rub. For hobbyist woodworkers like us, how many dovetail joints are you actually going to make in a week, a month, or even a year? Probably not that many. But unless you're willing to practice this process on a fairly regular basis, hand sawing dovetails is always going to be a bit of a hit or miss proposition. And if you're always coming at it rusty and out of practice, that can lead to ruined project parts, wasted wood, and frustration. Well, David Barron, a British woodworker and hand tool designer, has come up with a solution for hand cutting dovetails for folks like you and me, who only cut them every now and then. It's this magnetic dovetail saw guide. I just used mine for the first time to cut all the through dovetails on this cherry blanket chest. And I'm happy to say, all 48 pins and tails on these corner joints fit together nicely, with just a little bit of pairing afterward, thanks to this jig. Now the guide is milled from a billet of solid aluminum, and these sides here are machined to common dovetail slopes. Mine is milled to a 1 to 6 slope, but you can also get the guide in 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 7, and 1 to 8. And those are the common slopes for both through and half blind dovetails. And then there's a 3 quarter inch diameter rare earth magnet that's recessed into each side of the jig. And these are what hold your blade in place while you cut to keep the blade tracking straight and at a consistent angle. And those magnets are covered by clear, low friction, high density polyethylene pads to help the blade move more smoothly. And underneath, there's a couple strips of abrasive to keep the guide from shifting while you saw. Now, Baron has engineered the geometry of these guides so you can use the same guide for sawing either the tails or the pins depending upon how you have it oriented on the workpiece. And here's what I mean by that. As you can see, I've drawn a tail and a pin on this piece of scrap. And when I position the guide this way on the workpiece, it's ready to cut the angled tail lines here and here. But when I flip the guide over, now it's ready to cut the angled pin lines here and here. Same guide, two different cuts. And using the Baron Dovetail Guide is truly easy. Just line it up with a tail or pin layout line, hold it in place with your free hand, snap the blade against the magnet, and start sawing down. The magnets keep the blade tight against the guide while you cut. <laughs> now obviously this magnetic guide can help you saw more consistently, and that's a huge help. But it also makes it a lot easier to start these cuts accurately, and that's just as important, particularly on the pin cuts, where literally splitting your layout line can make the difference between the joint fitting too tight, just right, or too loose. So whether you cut dovetails only once in a blue moon, it's getting harder to see and follow your layout lines, or maybe you have some dexterity issues, a magnetic dovetail sawing guide like this could make a big difference in your ability to hand saw accurately. You can learn more about them at David Barron's website, which is davidbarronfurniture.co.uk, or by checking out his YouTube demonstration videos. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine, and thanks for watching.